G'day guys, it's uh, Andrew from Australian Gear Addict and uh, just I uh, wanted to touch on the topic of uh, ponchos and just kind of extend on, on, on uh, I guess, alternatives in the, I guess, middle to heavy gauge ponchos. So uh, just a bit of history before I sort of get into this over here. Um, obviously, uh, people are aware that there are many types of ponchos out in the market, uh, going from the kind of lightweight ripstock ponchos all the way to the military ones. So, um, you know, they're very, very different in regards to, uh, I guess, their pros and cons. Um, just kind of touching on the lightweight um, ponchos, so the stuff that's made out of ripstop material. I mean, uh, it's great in the sense that it's quite light and it's, you know, weighs about 300 grams, so it's, it's quite a, a lightweight product. Um, but it's really kind of not designed for, you know, uh, walking around in kind of heavy torrential downpour or in the bush. So, um, you know, when you kind of put that product in that environment, i.e. in heavy rains, um, it sort of kind of functions a little like kind of glad wrap, you know, so and it creates a real sweat box. But look, you know, if you're, if you're in a, in a, I guess, a, a, a rainy environment, you know, mountaineering or whatever it is, and you're only getting exposed to, you know, half an hour's worth of rain, um, you know, it certainly serves that, that purpose particularly well. And I think that's the big difference between the kind of heavier gauge materials generally and that lightweight stuff because the heavier gauge materials can you know kind of sit off you a little bit more so it kind of provides your body with a little bit more kind of breathing space so um before i dive into uh, these two uh, versions or military style ponchos i'll just touch on the usgi style ponchos and and um you know why they're they're so popular uh with uh, survivalists and so forth so um as you may be aware um, the military poncho was um, something that was designed in the 1960s for the vietnam war arguably it's one of the best pieces of the kits that sort of come out from that and the reason being is that you know it's pretty bulletproof it's absolutely 100 percent waterproof and you can use it for a range of functions so i.e you can use it for a tarp um, you can use it as a ground sheet, you can use it as a hammock, you can use it as a floating device, and on and on it goes. So it's uh, pretty good stuff. Um, the only sort of downfall or about that sort of original design, uh, in my opinion, um, is that it doesn't have sort of kind of, you know, some basic things like a, you know, a, a rain beak on the hood. So, you know, if it does rain pretty heavily, um, you know, you, you get a face full of water, um, which is not very nice. Obviously, very easily resolved by having a cap, um, but then your beak here cap gets wet. So mm, I'm not sure why they haven't sort of, um, I said, improved that design from there. But uh, if you're looking at military ponchos on the market, you'll find that a lot of them these days will have beaks. So that's good news. Um, but anyway, uh, I'm digressing a little bit. Let's get back onto these two things over here. So what you're seeing over here is a USGI styled military poncho. Um, the genuine military uh, poncho uh, basically is roughly about 600 grams. These particular items over here are a little bit lighter at about 500 grams. But the materials themselves are, are absolutely bulletproof, absolutely solid. Uh, this one's over here. Um, you can use as a, as a tarp or a hammock. I've already done a review on this, so if you want to check it out, just click here. Uh, but the purpose of this discussion is for those people who want that sort of medium to heavy gauge uh, ponchos but don't necessarily want one to serve all those functions and maybe want ones to, to save just a little bit of weight. This is actually slightly lighter than this, but not by much. Um, so here it is. So, you know, if you're not going to use a poncho uh, as a tarp or a hammock, uh, this might be potentially the product for you. So um, this product, uh, it comes from China, like everything does these days, and uh, it's made out of uh, 600 denier nylon ripstop. Um, so this is pretty solid material. So if I just pop down here and, and I'll show you this, I'll just grab a section over here, and if I pull this tight like that, you can see that I can put a bit of force on that, and that's, you know, it won't rip at all. So pretty solid material it's definitely something that's going to last you for a very very long time now if you want to look at um, the top of this over here the nice thing about it is it's actually got a pretty generous beak to it so if we have a sort of kind of a look at that um, that's not going to just cover your head um, it'll cover it a little bit more um, but always nice to wear a cap underneath that. Uh, in regards to the material, as I said, it's pretty heavy duty. Uh, it's pretty waterproof. Um, the product has been um, seamed, sealed with some tape over here. 
uh, as you can see. And in regards to this over here, guys, this is actually a burgundy type colour. It's not, it's not really pink. It's sort of kind of showing up a little bit pinkish um, in in the video, but that's. Uh, that's uh, not really a, a true uh, reflection of the colour itself. It's more of a burgundy colour. So just to let you know. Um, like most ponchos, it comes with a cinch you can tie up, obviously. Uh, it opens up over here so you can get some air, some air some control through here. And as, as you can tell over here, the quality of the actual stitching uh, isn't too bad considering the price point. Now, the nice thing about this particular poncho, that it is form fitting. So as you can see over here, it does curve with your body. Um, so what, what, what that means is that if you're walking through some heavy scrub or if you've got a lot of rain sort of going down sideways, it is going to bead a little bit better. So um, you know, that's the nice thing uh, about this particular style of more form fitting ponchos. Now, the disadvantage of the form fitting ponchos is unlike these ones over here, there's not going to be a lot of room in the back of it. So you can't really, um, as an example, uh, cover a huge pack as you might with a military style poncho, but you can certainly cover a small bag. You know, sort of anything from probably, uh, you know, 20 to 30 litres as, as, as a small backpack goes would, would probably be okay. Um, at the front um, of this particular poncho, you will notice that there's, again, there's a little bit of form sort of kind of fitting stuff on the side over here. But the designers have very cleverly actually shortened the back of the actual uh, poncho itself. So this is the front over here. And as you can see, it's a little bit longer than the back. So I'll pull that back over there like that. Yeah, so it's, it's shorter at the back. And, and the reason why it's shorter at the back is that when you're in a kind of torrential rain or downpour situation, the last thing you want is basically a bit of flapping materials kind of slapping at the uh, the back of your car so not a very nice experience but you know if you're wearing a big pack on a, on a military poncho that's kind of being lifted on the uh, on the back anyway but uh, because obviously you, know, you can't carry a big pack that'll shift the back of that material up that's a kind of good little design inclusion in there so just in regards to weight as i said before this is roughly about 500 grams very similar to the other sides over here. Comes in a nice little flat pack. Nice and thin, just like that. Fits easily under your car. You know, you can put it in your backpack. If you wanted to roll it up, you can. It's pretty easy. It certainly tightens down uh, pretty quickly. So if I'll just, I'll just show you that there. So like that. And just to give you some idea in regards to size. So that's a uh, US uh, bum bag. So, you know, it fits in there very, very easily. You probably chuck two or three in there without too much trouble. So guys, uh, there we are, just a bit of commentary on some ponchos, um, some poncho alternatives. Uh, if you like the video, uh, press like, hit subscribe. Uh, if you're interested in getting either of these ponchos, they are in our official support store. Uh, feel free to 